So on the prevention side, we're trying to tackle a lot of what I spoke to earlier as the dysfunctional elements in the culture or the subculture of violence that has, has sprung. One of those dysfunctional uh, elements is we have tended to legitimize criminal gangs and criminal behavior. For example, coming back to scamming, which is one of my favorite things, when I became minister, a lot of people would say to me, why you don't leave the scamming alone? Is reparations for slavery, there are no victims, it doesn't do anything. Well, obviously, you know, those people have their heads buried in the sand. I mean, it's, it's really hammering our reputation internationally. Uh, it's feeding, we estimate, 40 to 50% of the violent crime, murders, shootings, rapes, assaults, in St. James which is the parish, which is the, the sort of center of the larger scam operations. But I'm going to play for you some clips if I, we don't have any technical difficulties. Uh, the first clip I'm going to play for you is um, a, a song by Vibes Carter. I'm gonna say, now I'm buying a gun, now I'm support no one. Big up the man them start from near and far, them call it scam. We got a reparation. We got a reparation. We got a reparation. We got a a a now, that is a very catchy song, right? Now, imagine the impact that that makes on the kids this side. They're starting to be literally brainwashed from their five, six, seven coming up. Um, again, for those of you who may not know, this is Vibes Cartel. He's currently a guest of mine in the Correctional Services. And that's Gaza Slip. Also I'm Peter Bunting, the Minister of National Security. I'm traveling with my colleague, Minister of Justice, uh, Mark Golding. Um, we're here to have a, a series of meetings in Washington, and we had offered the ambassador, and he, you know, very kindly arranged through the consulate here to have a meeting with the Jamaican diaspora to give them an update on things that are happening in Jamaica, primarily about national security and justice, but also uh, to deal with broader developments with the economy, the IMF agreement, etc. Well, we have to be very careful that we don't allow criminals and criminal behavior to become uh, legitimized and for criminal behavior to be accepted or at least tolerated um, by the broader Jamaican society. So this is why we've taken on the, in a sense, uh, re-socialization, the reversal of those negative uh, dysfunctional elements of our culture that has in a way facilitated criminals in their activities in, in recent years and we're tackling that frontally, raising people's awareness and um, we have quite an extensive communication program in that regard. Well, what's up to the Jamaican diaspora in New York City and, um, and in a broader state?